悪く思え
Yeah, to, to make sure they're both up. Oh, they're both up? Yep. I can hear myself now. I can. I can. We are live. Hello. How's it going, everybody? So if anybody happens to be in the stream at the moment, we're going to be starting singles momentarily. Hope you guys enjoy doubles. Uh, the uh, Not the end of doubles. That was losers finals. <laughs> so uh, we'll be finishing doubles, grands, momentarily. Uh, we're going to be having... The uh, the cloud team Dinkberg, Egbert and Dink will be playing against Chavo and Carnage. Chavo Towers. Unfortunately, I have to say that because they decided to pick the name because they love doing that to me. So we're gonna see Dinkberg and Chavo Towers coming up on a stream in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and just switch this over now. Do me a favor, you two be player one and player two because I already have them set. Do, 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 do. So anybody who happens to be watching at the moment, how y'all doing? It's Ajax. I'm currently on the mic for Cold Snack Collision. It's Friday Night Fights. I don't know which number. Uh, 43. We're on Friday Night's 43. There isn't a multi-layout for Friday Night Fights at the moment. So I got to talk to Drewson about that. Hopefully we can get one set up for Smash. But we've been doing Marvel lately, which no Marvel players showed up today. Pretty upset about that. I don't know where you guys at, but y'all should be here. Um, we'll start trying to get a little bit more effort going into that. But hey, you know... Things happen. Sometimes people show up, sometimes people don't. As long as you consistently do the events and try and get people out, then you could grow the scene. If you don't try it at the first place though, then what's the point? It takes a, it takes a, a team of people to come out and regularly compete and the scenes will slowly grow into something that is very strong and reputable. Kinda like what it did for Smash 4 around here. And hey look, it's me! currently in my work uniform still because I don't know how to go home and go to sleep. How you doing, Zoo? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. So we'll be starting Grand Finals of Doubles momentarily. Did you want to possibly hop on and put the headset on your head? Did you want to? You could come right over here, pop a squat. Pop. Uh, singles bracket will be starting. Yes. Uh, but at the moment, you could put that headset on. I'm not playing in that so goodbye because as soon as you showed up you had to go we had to do it to him we had to throw him right back in the bracket but like i said we're starting singles right now um it is friday night a little bit of the smaller weekly this you know the the secondary day of the week but it's good to have multiple days to make sure we get enough people out here because if you don't get the practice out here you're not going to be able to get the practice before you go to monthly so it's good stuff. Luckily for Drizzen, he's able to hold the days multiple because this is his store. Underworld Games out here in Wallingford, Connecticut. As you can see down there on the bottom. That way. That's good. That's a good shot. That way over there. 220 North County Street, Wallingford, Connecticut. Make sure you guys come out. Try and play us. Try and take our money. Or take that L when you come over here and catch some hands from some of the people who are really good. You're out? You're already 2 You know what? Man, we already have upset alert. TRL out 0-2 before the bracket has even started. Had to do it to him. You know, it had some new faces in here. We got about five to six new faces in here tonight on a Friday. New people. New people means good things. That means there's more people coming out to more events, and that means we can grow and keep stability. So we're going to switch over to the full screen in a second. We're going to have grand finals of doubles for Friday Night Fights 43. We're going to have... Egbert and Dink. Dinkbert. Dinkleberg. I should have called him Dinklebert. Dinklebert? Di oh, Yo, Dinklebert. 
<laughs> it's Dinklebert versus Chavo Towers. So we're going to start off on Smashville. As per usual, we got the Double Cloud rocking on the green team versus Bayonetta and Fox. Uh, I think a big key here is we're probably going to see Chavo going after the Double Clouds off stage a lot while Carnage just tries to smother him in stage. However, this is a relatively bit of, kind of a semi nightmare for Fox because he does have to deal with all the extended hurt boxes going on with uh, Fox trying to get his recovery in. And just like that, Chavo immediately deletes a stock off the side. And 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 we're and we're getting complaints from the double clouds who are playing double cloud. So yeah, we're gonna just ignore that. So <laughs> starting off, blue team start off relatively strong, but it is uh, the green team has gotten here on winner's side. So when when uh, Dinko Burt does have to have uh, the winner's side in this. So Chavo Towers does have to get the reset here, but currently Chavo Towers is in the lead by. By a good uh, two stocks. Very solid. Very strong. And it's all on Dink. Never mind. Egbert joined in the show, also losing a stock. Green team really needs to boil this down and really like kind of work together, get some team combos, get some good edge guards going in because right now we're possibly going to see yet another stock loss. No, luckily, uh, Chavo couldn't get the full portion of that edge guard, and we're going to see double finishing touch going on here. And actually, both of blue team just losing their stocks off the side there. And so all of a sudden, green team that has a little bit of life down four to three, still very much doable. You have double limit cloud on center stage and trying to force blue team off stage, but blue team just not having anything to do with it right now. I like the fact that they've been going for a couple 1v1s, trying to like separate blue team a little bit here, but they really got to focus on getting some of these team combos in because they're not getting enough damage extension to make this valuable for them. If you only get into one hit per, and then you get Chavo coming in and pushing you off stage, it's not really worth it overall. And both of them at high percents, but that is a limit cross slash. That's an edge, not going to kill, but put on a good amount of damage. And Edgar fishing a little bit hard there, trying to go for that spike. Couldn't get the edge card, but I like the attempt. Chavo actually breaking that up a little bit on that hit there. And Nobody ends up uh, flying off the screen. All players at about relatively kill percent. Fox is pretty light, so he's relatively close to it if he gets hit by a cross slash. Trying to go for an air dodge down the platform, but just missed facing. He said down smash every stage and actually dies for it. A lot of rage on Cloud right now, so it looks like that was a little bit of a benefactor to help push him off stage. Nice perfect pivot to the ledge to go for an edge guard attempt there. Nothing came out of it, but he did get the pressure with that up tilt. Reads the air dodge, but doesn't get it, but Chavo ends up stealing the stock on Egbert on the side anyways, and now Dink is at 150% with no share stock available to him. And blue team with is somehow down to three stocks themselves. And Chavo sitting at 128, so he wants to try and take this out as long as possible. And just like that, gets rid of Dink's stock. Egbert sitting alone in the 2v1 situation. Chavo coming down with a fresh stock. And Egbert just cannot touch the ground. They are not letting him play the game. Finally gets a dare to get some pressure off of him. And starts juggling a little bit. Doing a little, pretty good job of separating blue team at the moment. Uh, but he's going to eat it up till. And luckily didn't get clipped by the back air from Chavo. That would definitely push him off stage. Probably forced him to blow limit. I think a little bit of a delay came from that. Uh, that ledge get up there. Unfortunately couldn't get that back air. But right now Egbert just trying to get back in center stage. Blue team not letting him have any fun. Gets a down smash at the ledge, actually kills Fox for it. Uh, surprising, too. Even though he's at 121, it was at 86 after the hit. Still a relatively decent position for Chavo because it is at one, he is at 122, but Egbert's starting to slowly bring this lead back. Getting the grab, just adding on a lot of damage, and now Bayonetta being very light. Can possibly die to something pretty soon. He has to be very careful, but Egbert doing a pretty good job so far in this 2v1 situation, bringing this right back. Trying to go for the jump off the ledge with that back here. Just barely missed. And no punish on the dash attack there. Really. It's an F at the ledge. Egbert's defense is being very strong right now. Somehow still in this. It has the limit. Jalo just, just jumping over it. Not going to eat his stock for it. And falls him down quickly through to get that air dodge read with that nair and seals it out. Egbert with a very solid attempt at a 2v1 situation. But... <laughs> Uh, Chavo telling Twitch to stop calling him mid-match so he can, you know, oh yeah, I went to the wrong one. Y'all need to see my face. Hey, hey. So, uh, probably going to see a switch to not Triflats because we're going to see, you know, it's double double cloud. Last thing I want to do is give up Triflats. That's my guess. But, maybe a flat stage? Highly doubt Lilac. So, Town and City? That would make sense. That would probably make the most sense considering they wouldn't have Triflats probably available to them. Hovering over FD. 
I don't think that, I think it'd be relatively suicidal to probably go to Lilet uh, when they had a very hard time with the recovery. Deciding to go to FD, get a little bit more space horizontally, get a little more survivability, and no platforms for anybody to retreat to. So the Cloud combo extensions are going to go very long with the double nares in center stage. But let's see if they can even get them because at the, that last match, they were not having a good time getting both Chavo and Carnage off of them, especially when it came to off stage pressure. These numbers are actually a super incorrect amino. We realized that they were, they were not right. That was game one. There was two. So if you guys happen to be watching, that was actually game one for uh, Chubb on Carnage. And rocking it onto FD. And he gets the air dodge read onto stage with that cross slash. And Green Team's going to take the lead this time. Looking much more solid than the beginning of this match so far. Only taking six, well, taking a little bit of damage right now. Both that relatively even, 78, 92, 88, and 94, 95 now. And Chavo eating some damage, but like they, neither of them have limits. Really trying. Never mind. Egbert goes off stage anyways. Like, completely removing what I was trying to say. Uh, Egbert with some massive cojones that go off stage without any uh, limit to try and edgeguard. And actually tries to go for the suicidal off B, but misses. And Chavo getting out of the situation unscathed, luckily for him, because. Uh, Egbert decided to get a little bit crazy, but I like the attempt. And Egbert coming in to get his partner some safety so he can recover and seals it out with the up there. And just like that, Green Team takes a lead, currently up the stock. Let's see if they can hold on to the stock a little bit longer. Doesn't go. Air dodges right into Carnage's up smash. Was waiting for him as he fell down from Bayonetta's up beat strings. Dead even game at the moment. Very solid. Both, <laughs> both teams attacking their own teammates. A uh, little bit of miscommunication on everybody's part there. But it is double soak scrambles occasionally happen like that. And he reads the air dodge. This might be it for Egbert. Luckily, he was able to get out of the top there. And the thing coming in to try and save the day. He did. Able to get him off. And, and just like that, Fox dies yet again. Fox super light at the ledge there. And working out very beneficial for the double cause right now. Let's see if Green Team can hold on to this lead. Last thing they want is Egbert to lose his stock. They want to hold on to this rage with the cross slash available to him. So they can maybe seal out Bayonetta's kill pretty early. And Chavo carrying him all the way to the skies. And unfortunately, a double hit from both teams kind of eliminating a little bit of knockback off of that up air. Great team getting pushed to the very edge of the ledge. And unfortunately, Egbert wasn't in a good enough position to be able to throw a cross slash to the left hand side and maybe seal out the stock. And Chavo's going to get the up, beat it back here and seal it out. But just like that, Carnage ends up sealing out the other stock on Vink. And Great team all of a sudden down the, in the lead here. And the green team looking like they might get reset possibly in this if they can't see if they can't close this out. They did manage to force uh, the, the the one v one v one v one situation at the end there, but it was a little too late last time. Let's see if they can uh, keep keep it down, avoid too much damage, and start to even this game back up. And the is at kill percent, and as we saw a couple times so far, Carnage and Fox super light. And finally getting rid of Chavo stock. One limit online. See if they can manage to get the other one because this would be very, very beneficial for him right about now. Especially when you have Fox at 80%. Unfortunately, Dink forced to blow it in. He takes the F smash at the ledge but still managing to get back on the Chavo over on the left hand side just kind of smothering Egbert. Keeping him apart. And he eats the witch time and that's going to be it for Egbert. Nice attempt on Dink to try and go hit and nair on him to remove the knockback so he could keep him safe, but unfortunately couldn't save his partner. And right now, Green Team looking like they might possibly get reset. The Chavo Tower is trying to take over Dinklebert. I love Dinklebert. That's a fantastic name. And unfortunately for Dink, he had no limit. Couldn't make that back. A great edge guard attempt on Chavo. And we're going to see a bracket reset for doubles. Both teams on the loser side now. And the first one to take the next two games is going to win. And we're going to see Dink swap out to the Fox. Dink very solid in with both Cloud and Fox. Mostly rocking the double Cloud for the most part because <laughs> double Cloud is kind of dumb. And, but then again, when you have a Bayonetta and a Fox on the other side of the team, it's kind of hard to really argue. So I, I like the idea. Going for the, the Fox kind of helps keep Carnage at bay. It just force him, smother him a little bit so he can't really get any of his combos working together because he'll be able to get in fast enough to save Egbert. Whereas before, he didn't really have the speed to stop what was going on with the combo extension while Egbert can't juggle or vice versa. But Chavo not seeming to care about that at the moment. Still just going for as many combo extensions as he can. And 
think trying to go he's trying to go for a little bit of an edge guard on the left hand side there and this Carnage has just had the most unfortunate luck with dying at like 80% throughout this double set. Luckily it hasn't really been too detrimental to them for the most part, but it's never fun when your character dies at 80, but in exchange, Egbert's gonna go ahead and get rid of his teammate's stock with the down smash in. We are gonna be evened up across the board. Five to five on both sides, both of the other players at kill percent, one at 119. Shout out to the Bless and the New England Legion. And whatever that means, because I forget what the time. I was going to really great. So, and Chavo's going to eat an up air off the side there from Dink, and that's going to even this game. It will actually put Green Team into the lead. But roll red on stage. Kern is just waiting for about three years with the book and the library card for Egbert to press that roll. And we are dead even across the board. I mean, seriously, that even. Both boxes at 76%. One actually taking a hit. And, try, and he goes for the fair on his recovery. Very smart on Dink, immediately recognizing that situation and getting that fair to seal out that stock. And now Green Team would be 4-3 to three lead. Still very much doable for both sides. You want to be very careful because you have a Bayonetta on there who can smother everybody's recovery. And accidentally, SD's going for the nair, but Carnage there to immediately smother out that with the back air. So luckily for them, it didn't work out too unfortunate. And Egbert ends up SD. Just like that, we're even across the board in about 20 seconds. Um, so Egbert SD. And we're across the board, one stock apiece. Uh, fortunately, Carnage sitting at 85%, trying to keep himself safe. And not really caring, just kind of entering the fray anyways. He does have raids working for him, trying to get a roll read or something out of uh, Egbert. Give him a little reaction, but he wasn't giving it to him. And Dink's going to get the dash attack into the up air, and he's going to sell it out. And now Chavo's forced into a 2v1 situation. Now, he was able to come back in the Losers Finals in a very tough 2v1 situation twice. So let's see if he can pull it off yet again. He does have the advantage here when it comes to offstage play. He can get both of these characters pretty well. But both of these characters do very good center stage in terms of combo potential. So he's going to eat a lot of damage if one gets in. Green team doing a solid job trying to keep Chavo at bay, like not really letting him get too much. But Chavo just smoking all over him. No four throw out of that. Uh, decided to throw off stage instead of throwing him towards the corner there. I think trying to go for a couple of back airs at the ledge. Catch it. Oh my god. And unfortunately, okay, so they were still able to seal that out. Looked like Dink had actually eaten the cross slash at first and. Egbert was going to kill his teammate, and then Chavo was going to kill him with the F-Smash, but it ended up working out. So right now, we're going to see Game 1 go to Egbert and Dink. If, please, please solo commentate doubles. It's hard to keep up with everything. It's SD. So we're going to see game one go to Egbert and Dink in the reset. So getting a little bit of a good momentum shift with that switch to Fox looking very beneficial for him so far. Not as much uh, recovery uh, issues when it came to Chavo smothering them off stage. Only one cloud to have to worry about. And just like that, Dink comes in very quickly to uh, get the pressure off of Egbert as he was getting juggled off the sides there from the fair strings. Carnage trying to break up the combo potential a little bit here. Relatively even still, though. And Carnage turning it around, but recognizing he couldn't get anything else off of there, so backing off a little bit. Egbert off to the side, trying to force one of them into a 1v1 situation. Throwing Chavo towards his teammate, but unfortunately, Chuck Carnage was right in front of him, so couldn't really get any combo extensions off of it. Egbert going a little ham there, trying to get Chavo being a little aggressive with that cross slash, but unfortunately, it's not going to work out for him. And Chavo's still alive after the up smash, too. And Chavo recognizing he was being a little too aggro, and Egbert helping out a little bit, throwing some damage in there, trying to stop the combo. But uh, in the midst of all that, Carnage actually lost his stock. Dink read the air dodge on Chavo there, but didn't do anything about it. I think he was a little bit scared that Carnage might come in to try and smother out. A uh, little bit of a scary situation. Chavo still managing to hit him with the end of the third jab there, somehow at the edge of that. And Carnage once again getting the roll read with the up smash on stage. And Chavo. Chavo edge guarding um, the, his fox. <laughs> and both of them rocking the same tag. I think a little bit of confusion there, but they are different colors. But then again, it's still fox. 
And once again, getting both the uh, Foxes there. Very smart on Egbert to throw uh, Carnage into the combo to force Chapel to have to drop it so he can get keep some pressure off of Nick. And uh, Sweet Team currently rocking a 5 to 4 lead at the moment. Actually, 5 to 3 lead in this reset of this racket. Looks like this Fox pick was very big for them so far, allowing a much safer situation for them to be able to go through when they have Nick in there to break up the combos. Chapel. Digging deep, trying to go for that near off stage, but a good angle from Dink's gonna keep him alive still. 161. Dink is stock taking very hard right now. Egbert with limit, but he gets hit by the back end of the up smash, and he's gonna end up losing his stock finally after uh, three, about three minutes into this match. Two minutes, two, 20 seconds, and doubles. Very, very uh, good longevity out of him right there. Jabo eating an up smash, but still kept alive, and right now. Sitting at the ledge, and Egbert immediately running off the stage here to go hit that cross slash on Carnage. And now Chavo sitting at 113. Looking like Chavo's going to have to rock out the double. Uh, I'm sorry, the 2v1 situation with two stocks left. He is at 126%, so, so it's very likely that he might lose the tune. He's going to get forward thrown into the up smash, and now Chavo down one stock to four. And not looking like he's planning on giving up anytime soon. He's going to see if he can make this comeback. Dink does have a stock to play with, so throwing out all those lasers, not a really bad idea. Team trying to force Chavo into a awkward situation, but Chavo just being defensive just enough and kind of edging out a couple of these combos. The green team could just clean up their combos. They can end up sealing this out, and this could be Dinko Burke's grand championship right now for Friday Night Fights 43. Or can Chavo manage to make this doubles comeback yet again? He's been doing great all day with these 2v1s. Buried in tournament life, trying, trying to make sure that he does not lose this right now. Egbert going for the down tilt off on the ledge, trying to see if maybe he can get the two frame on neutral get up. Up air is not going to do it just yet. And the up air on the combo extension is going to do it. And Dinko Burt is going to win 2 0 in the reset from Chavo and Carnage. <laughs> so. So, 